Hello and welcome to this uh, Asante Academy of Chinese Medicine presentation. The topic is uh, Fundamental Theory of Traditional Chinese Medicine. My name is Alex Eftime and uh, I'll be guiding you through this topic. The second part of this presentation will focus on the five elements theory. As we focus on the five elements theory, um, we can start discussing this by um, trying to understand what uh, we mean when we say five elements. There are many translations for the, the Chinese Wu Xing. Uh, some people use five phases, five uh, agents. Um, ultimately, these are five systems. And within each system, um, a number of um, natural phenomena and the number of uh, uh, different uh, ideas are integrated. As we look at the table on this page, uh, we find uh, a number of ideas are um, inserted in each column, each column representing one of these systems, one of these elements. Um, it is uh, essential for our clinical practice and uh, our clinical reasoning to uh, um, understand and learn uh, these systems individually as well as in relationship with other systems. As we carry on discussing the interactions between these five elements, we can focus on four different particular types of relationships. Uh, the first one is that of generating. We can look at uh, um, the uh, five elements uh, as uh, um, having a, a relationship within which one generates the other and this forms a cycle this forms a cycle because uh, wood generates fire fire generates uh, um, earth earth generates metal metal generates water water generates wood and the cycle starts again now this is a very important uh, uh, relationship in clinical practice because uh, very often we see this relationship uh, um, being uh, uh, interrupted and uh, when we look at one element generating the other we are discussing about them in um, a context where one becomes uh, uh, the mother and the other becomes the child so uh, in this context, um, as wood generates fire, wood is the mother of the fire, fire is the child of the wood. Another relationship that is um, normal within uh, um, the, the theory of five elements is that of controlling. Without control, without restriction, things would uh, uh, develop with, um, well, uh, they would develop without any limits, without uh, uh, any way of, uh, of stopping. And that would lead to um, abnormalities, that would lead to excess. So, in contrast with the idea of generation, which is an increase one increases uh, the uh, uh, function of the other. The uh, uh, relationship of controlling is where one element decreases the function of the other. So we can look at wood controlling earth. Within this relationship, uh, we can uh, um, surely imagine strong roots uh, being able to, to hold the earth in place and uh, um, not uh, allow any movements, such as a landslide, for example. From this relationship, from that of controlling, we can look at two different pathological, two different abnormal relationships. First of them 
is overacting. Now, we mentioned that wood can control the earth. Overacting is an extreme form of control. As uh, uh, we can imagine that if these roots that I mentioned previously, if they grow too strong, they can destroy, they can damage the earth. So within this um, relationship, we need to look at uh, each individual element as having the um, uh, capacity to overact and being overacted upon. As we carry on discussing about the second abnormal or pathological relationship uh, between the five elements, uh, we can look at, um, um, again, the uh, relationship of um, control. Now, the counteracting uh, is a reversal of this control. Instead of wood uh, controlling Earth, um, Earth is, in this example, too strong and wood cannot um, uh, interact, cannot interfere with, with its activity because uh, it's too weak to do that. So we look at, uh, at the idea of Earth being able to counteract wood in this scenario. And that can happen, like I previously mentioned, in two particular um, circumstances. Either Earth is very strong or wood is very weak because the relationship does not imply this this sort of an abnormal relationship does not imply that there is necessarily an excess uh, however uh, there is a relative excess of one element or the other and as we look at the relationships between the elements, um, we can look at every element being generated and generating, being uh, controlled and controlling, being overacted and overacting, and uh, being counteracted and counteracting. Join me soon for the second part of this presentation where we are going to discuss uh, about the chi, blood and body fluids. Thank you very much for watching and have a very good day.